Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I'm Andy and I'm very excited because today we are going to kick off the holiday season. Thanksgiving was yesterday. Today is Black Friday, which is of course the mass hysteria. Everybody goes crazy and buys everything they possibly can for as cheap as they possibly can day. But because it is finally past Thanksgiving, I finally am ready to start celebrating the Christmas time season. With that being said, I've got a whole series that I wanna do for Christmas. Essentially what the series is going to be is just a collection of holiday looks different kinds of looks, different styles, different, you know, themed events, things like that. And it's going to be really focused on the entire collective appearance of the full look together. So the outfit, the makeup, all of that. It's not really going to be focused on the products being used. I'll give you guys kind of like some insight into what I'm using to create each look. But really, I just want to kind of give you guys an idea of like what you can do for a nice holiday look for a whole bunch of different things. Part of that collection, the uh, I think the ones that I'm most excited for are going to be this ugly Christmas sweater collection. And I use the term ugly loosely. Personally, I like all of my Christmas sweaters a lot. I like when people wear Christmas sweaters, but there is this whole connotation of like the ugly Christmas sweater party. So I'm definitely going to be embracing that a little bit. Today we are kicking off with one of my very first ones. Basically, this will be the first one. And then as we progress through the five, they're going to get a little bit crazier each time. So this is probably the most generic one I have. Funny story is actually today, I'm going with my mother and one of her friends to the Southern Christmas show. So it, as we're filming it today, it is not yet Thanksgiving. It's Thanksgiving is next Thursday, but when this gets edited and posted, it will be the day after Thanksgiving. But I figured this was a nice neutral uh, sweater that said joy. It kind of embraces the season and embraces like the theme of what it is that I'm doing today. But it embraces like what I'm doing today without overshadowing uh, Thanksgiving. I think joy is kind of an all around sentiment for this holiday season, Thanksgiving included. So I went ahead and chose to wear it to this particular event and film what the end result is going to look like. So let's just jump into it. Um, I do have different looks kind of going with each one of the outfits. I've picked out like different themes and things that I wanna do with each one of these sweaters and the different looks. So today is going to be a really simple with a simple sweater, red and gold, very easy to do. We're just gonna do a really simple red and gold eyed look. I think for a holiday, a party that can pretty much be used for anything can be used with a sweater party can be used with a nice glam party so we're just going to see what happens on the face anyway I talked about this one we filmed actually what will be posted next so we, we filmed the second sweater look yesterday but um this is the one that's getting posted first so haha <laughs> We make our own rules here. But I did talk about it in that video. This is just the photo finish primerizer from Smashbox. This is actually one of the minis that came in their priming collection last Christmas. And I bought two of those because I love their primer so much. And um, when they do those little primer collections, it's a really good deal. But during the winter, I, I mentioned that uh, my skin gets really, really friggin' dry. And this does a good job of like moisturizing while it also adds that priming aspect to it. So that's why I pretty much will be using this probably for this entire series because it just really helps my skin. Good news guys, I finally bought more of this because it's literally like, I, I literally like wind it and just nothing comes out. I have to like squeeze the top and it just barely does anything. So I finally bought some more of them because um, actually being right before Thanksgiving as we're filming this, it, um, the, it kicked off the Ulta like pre-Thanksgiving sale and they were giving away some free gifts. And Benefit was giving away some free gifts and I really needed some more of this stuff. So I was like, I don't even care that's not on sale. I'm getting free gifts. I'm getting some extra points and I'm getting a free, a big free gift from Ulta themselves. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy it now. And it's good because I'm not sure how many more days I have left in this one, to be honest. It's like, it's it's like, it's, it's there, it's done. What's your favorite part of Christmas, Nikki? <laughs> Bueller, Bueller. My favorite part of Christmas is, my favorite part of Christmas is... What I learned in boating school today. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Uh, probably all the food. Yeah. That's kind of a messed up thing to say. And watching Die Hard. Yep. That's cut. <laughs> Costco is now selling a 27 pound bucket of macaroni and cheese. Just for like my depression eating? Yeah. <laughs> basically. 
Is it like craft or is it like just a random bucket of mac and cheese? Like Costco brand mac and cheese? I think it's Costco brand. I mean, I, and I'm not, don't mean that in a bad way. Actually, Costco brand food is like really good. The Kirkland is like really, really it's good. It's Chef's but... Banquet actually. Well, I don't know the chef and I don't know if I can trust his mac and cheese or not. What do you, but what do you do? Like really, what is that for? Like is that, it has got to be for like group. Like if you're feeding like a football team or something like that. Because we, we used to do that when we would feed Bradley's football team, but like. Yeah, I mean, it's 180 servings. And how much does it cost? $90. You could make it yourself for so much cheaper. What do you do, microwave 180 servings worth of mac and cheese? Yes. Do you just microwave it all? You put it in the oven? Like, what do you do? How big oh, is it? it's 180 individually packaged servings. Oh, got... 180 individually packaged uh, cheddar cheese sauces. Wow, so that's it... really depressing. Yeah. <sighs> I was hoping for an entire tub of like. Yeah, I thought. Yeah, you cheese. you misled me. I was misled too. The I would have to literally make a hundred. That's that's no. That's pointless. Yeah. That's pointless. I could just sit down and make. So you'd go to like Costco and you you might buy like. Ten things and spend three hundred dollars and then it's like all you have to eat is like ten things. It's like you can choose between a giant thing of cereal, a giant thing of mac and cheese, a uh, giant thing of mashed potatoes, and a like. Giant thing of mayo. Yeah. <laughs> well, there are giant things of mayo are only like five bucks. So like, I mean, for the average person, yeah, it's difficult. But for me, it was like a weekend. <laughs> it was like a, like a an, weekend of mayo. Just a normal weekend. I feel like every movie they just lie to us more, like. This whole, I think this whole movie is supposed to be about how Kylo is a Skywalker, but no one has called him that at all. They've talked about how he's Han Solo's son, so. Okay, so we are jumping into now the main part of this, the fun part of it, the more exciting part than just me doing my makeup part. Um, we're gonna do contour, the face stuff, and then we're going to jump right on into the eye look. So just to give you guys an idea of what I've picked up for today's particular eye look that I think we're going to utilize. I think we're gonna use all of it because I didn't grab too much. So I did grab this Almar Cosmetics Colorful Brush tr Blush Trio that I got in one of my boxy charms. I thought it had a nice couple of colors that I could use for a blush color. I've got this Off Tropic palette from, t uh, NYX Cosmetics, which has a really nice, um, like, like um, orangey red, dark red, and then like a gold color, a yellow, and some other things I think that we can use for this look. And then I did grab my full spectrum from Urban Decay palette, just because when I'm grabbing rainbow colors, this is one of my big go-to ones. So yeah, we're going to be able to do a pretty decent little look with it, I think. Um, the only thing about the full spectrum palette is it has a lot of like yellows and oranges, but it actually does not have really any reds in there. Um, I think it's because a lot of people don't use reds for eyeshadows, but you know what? I really love red actually as an eyeshadow base, so So yeah, this is what I chose to uh, to, to grab on up in here And then um, in terms of like contour and everything, I'm just gonna do uh, my little This is also from BoxyCharm. It is a pure sculptor palette It came a couple months ago, and it just has like a couple of nice like little colors in there And I'm gonna use a little combination of the two bronzing shades you know what I'm really enjoying? Mm -hmm. The cat memes. <laughs> the, the, the one, the, yeah, the, the ones housewives with the housewives versus the cat. Yeah. That's like my favorite thing on the internet right now. And I know people are like, I'm so sick of them, and I'm not. I'm keep sending them to me. You want to comment your favorite one in the comments, please do, because I enjoy reading them very much. Very fun. Mainly because I definitely remember watching that episode of Real Housewives. <laughs> I think I did too with you. Yeah, you did. That was when you were like binge watching it. Yeah, they are quite, they are quite great. I'm literally going to take all three of these blushes and just mix them because they're kind of like, they're kind of summery bright colors and I think mixing them is going to be kind of a, a cool effect. turning out a little bit more purpley than red right now so it's a little on the purple side. that is like that it's because that color down there was like way more purple when it went on than it was red 
it's like an eggplant it's not really like a red let's see what I can do I'm actually going to to try and make it a little bit redder I'm actually gonna take red lipstick and put some on my eye wound up looking so purple, but I'm just gonna go with it because my hair is purple. <laughs> All right, now we're pulling out the Smashbox Crystallized Hoodwitched Liquid Glitter Eyeshadow, which is gold. I've used it before on camera. I really like how it looks, and I think it's going to do a good job of making a nice little gold base. And I'm actually gonna probably put on a little bit of extra gold on top of it just to really like make it holiday-y. <laughs> I hope you guys liked the final look. It was not as red as I was hoping. I think I went with a little bit more of a pinky palette base. And that was my own fault for just not choosing the right palette, if I'm being honest. But it's okay. We've got three more sweater looks that we're going to be doing. And um, they will be probably early red based. So hopefully we'll get it right one of those times. Um, it didn't look bad. It just isn't quite what I was wanting, if I'm being honest with myself. So it is what it is. Um, I did forget to mention at the beginning of the video, since this is the start of a season of um, like fashion looks, I did want to announce that we are going to hold off on doing our giveaway until after Christmas. We're going to actually announce the official giveaway, and the official rules for the giveaway on Christmas Day and open the giveaway for you guys at that point. So definitely, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe so that way you will see when that does drop. But I figured that will give everybody a chance to kind of cool off. You get to enjoy the holidays and not really focus on a giveaway. And then on Christmas, as a big thank you guys for all your wonderful support for the past five months, we'll drop our giveaway and uh, then we'll run it for probably about two weeks like we did with the last one, two, maybe three weeks like we did with the last one. And uh, hopefully you guys will get a chance to win some more awesome good stuff. Uh, yeah, so like I said, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so hit the notification bell so you see when we drop videos and that way you know when the giveaway officially posts and also you get to see all of our Christmas looks and as always, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, enjoy your season and stay girly with a dark twist.